what is up you guys Megan Houston here your dietetic intern and for today's video we're gonna talk about something absolutely delicious and that is seafood seafood is a really great thing to include in your diet for quite a bit of reasons and I'm gonna go over that in this video and then also we're gonna go to a local fish shop in Charleston South Carolina I'm gonna uh, just so you can learn more about uh, how local seafood is harvested and then also I'm going to buy some fish there and I'm going to show you a quick and easy healthy recipe that you can do so you can start to include more seafood in your diet. Now why is seafood so important? Well, seafood contains a lot of nutrients that a lot of Americans are lacking. These nutrients include iodine, vitamin D, other various vitamins and minerals. They're also really high in essential fatty acids and it's also a really high quality protein, super great for our bodies. When I say omega-3s, there are certain fish that are known as fatty fish and these fish can contain essential fatty acids like EPA, DHA, these omega-3s and some of these fish include salmon, tuna, mackerel, sardines, trout. These are just to name a few. But essential fatty acids, DHA, EPA, these omega-3s are essential for optimal brain health, for skin health, eye health, uh, nerve function, so many different things. Fish also contain vitamin D. There are so many Americans that are deficient in vitamin D these days and have to take a supplement while all they have to do is really eat the recommended daily amount of seafood a week. And vitamin D is super important for your hormones, for your bone health, for heart health. So by eating seafood regularly, you can intake that vitamin D that your body really needs. How much fish should you eat to reach these omega-3 requirements that we're supposed to have each week? What, what are we going for here? It is recommended that we have eight ounces of seafood per week. There are some fatty fish, but DHA is also found in some shellfish, in fish oils, and fish oil supplements. Um, and the reason that I'm really honing in on DHA is because 90% of the omega-3 fatty acids in your brain are made of DHA. Now your body is able to convert some fatty acids into DHA, but it's not a really high conversion factor and therefore we need to really consume it in our diet and have about 250 milligrams per week. So let's go find some seafood, get some DHA into this body, and I'll show you how you can get it into yours. Alright you guys, so we are outside of the fish shop. It's called Crosby's. It's a local place on Folly Beach. They have fresh fish daily. This is the shop. I am excited to go inside. It's a beautiful day. I cannot wait to see what they caught. The further we move on from all those yesterdays Happiness gets nearer The light that we see closing in so fast ahead It's hope, it's getting clearer All right, you guys. I just got to meet the workers here at Crosby's Fish and Shrimp Company and they were so nice to give me so much information about their company here. They send daily boats out to get fish and it comes back the next day and they have it fresh. They work with other local markets in North Carolina and Georgia so that way they can always have the typical staples that everybody likes year round. Uh, but it was just amazing at how hard they work to have really fresh seafood available for 
the residents of Folly Beach and South Carolina. So if you've never came out here and you live in the area, I highly recommend that you stop by. They have tons of seasonings and things like that. And this company has been here since the 1970s. Is that not crazy? I think that is amazing and super successful. Um, so I bought about half a pound of local yellowfin tuna. I love tuna. I'm going to show you how I like to fix it when I get back home. Uh, it's a beautiful day, so I might take a walk on the beach really quick. But, I mean, honestly, they had shrimp. They had local oysters. They had local grouper. And they always are changing up what they have in there based on the season trying to keep fresh fish as much as possible and also working with a worldwide market so that way they can bring organic fish into wild caught into their stores like salmon and things like that that are really healthy and great high quality protein sources. So I am so excited for my tuna. I love visiting here. You should too. So if you do have a local fish market in your area, please support them. You know, they do a lot of work to try to deliver the best seafood to you, and I think they do a wonderful job. All right, you guys, it is finally time for us to fix what I got at the fish shop, Crosby's. It was so cute in there. I always love how fresh it is. So, I bought some tuna, and I'm going to show you exactly how I make it. I just plugged in my electric frying pan, sprayed it down with some algae oil, and then I also sprayed the outside of the tuna. And then I topped it with everything but the bagel seasoning, which is just a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic, and poppy seeds. You can easily make this at home. This is a Trader Joe's brand, but they also sell a similar item at Walmart. Then as the pan got hot, I put the side down that had the seasoning, and then I seasoned the top part as the bottom part was cooking. They were so thick, delicious. And then I always spray the top uh, before I flip them because I just don't want them to stick. Um, and algae oil is great for high heat, which is what I was doing here. All right, you guys, let me show you the finished product. Right here, I think it looks absolutely out of this world. And then I cooked those veggies yesterday. I just roasted a bunch of them and that way I'd have them on hand. So I literally fixed lunch in 10 minutes, which is what I like. I think this looks absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna dig in. But I think seafood is a great way to diversify your diet. There's so many things out there. If you don't like shrimp, try tilapia. If you don't like tilapia, try salmon. If you don't like salmon, try tuna. They all taste so different. So if you don't like one, try another. Some people love crab. Some people love lobster. You know, explore. It's amazing all of the different seafood items out there that are so nutritious, great sources of protein, of vitamins, essential fatty acids, minerals. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna dig in, but Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell down below. And if you like these short little quick recipe videos, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.